What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna go through and do a quick tier nine Bloodforge sigil for Avatar of Zero. All the changes are today and I worked it all out in a nice little spreadsheet and that way maybe it can help you decide if it's worth your time to try to level this glyph up. Let's get right into it. So we're gonna just blast through this real quick. So don't mind the gameplay, I may skip all the way to the end, but I just wanna see roughly how hard a tier nine is and compared to what it is now with all the changes and just to kind of see i mean tier nine and tier 10 was pretty hard before i think i capped out at tier 11 um i capped out at tier 11 when i was pushing before the update uh and then that's where like i basically just gave up because of how much i would need to level the glyph to really make it worth it um, especially considering how strong the bosses actually were. So, uh, let's see here. Now it seems to be, like, pretty, pretty easy. I mean, I was going to put a timer up, but you guys can just see the timer now. I mean, I think I, we stated before that the the real big changes here are, like, it, like some of the issues were that, like, it would, it would take longer... To kill the bosses than it would be to actually lose on the rift from the timer i mean you guys can see i'm like way ahead on this timer right now and i am just slaughtering this with my my ball sork it's now again we have the changes now we got even more damage reduction across the board on every single glyph not just to level 10 and then the monsters are a bit easier up until you get to 10. But after 10, everything is the same. The difficulty is going to be the same. And then, of course, all the bosses, the three blood... What are they? The blood forger, Not blood forgers, but the blood mages. Um, all have no more suppression and no more uh, vampiric, thank God. So even though suppression really sucks for like a build like mine, um, it's really... It's really not the bad. And I cannot find... I can't find the guy who actually is giving them the damage reduction. I think I might have just killed him now. But a lot of players were having issues getting through even the first few tiers. But I can tell you already right now, doing this tier 9, that this is far easier than what it was before. I actually had to play a little bit more cautiously. And right now, I feel like I'm... I'm actually, like, just kind of just coasting right through this. Um, we're just going to grab Condi and rock with it. I mean, we're about to come up on the three-minute mark just to kind of speed farm this, which is kind of crazy. Now, my glyph is level eight. I got it up to level eight before the changes. I basically gave up after day one getting my glyph to eight because I felt that, you know, in the end, it was going to be very, very hard to get my glyph to um, 50, let alone even getting to tier 25. So... Let's see what we can do against these bosses here. I know it's really hard to see these guys. But, uh... Yeah, the bosses don't seem too bad at all. I'm always weary of the explosion guy because he's always a problem. But... Let me just go ahead and back up real quick. Just so I don't die from that explosion. And that's it! So we finished that in, like... Three and a half minutes, which isn't really bad at all. Three and a half minutes to complete the tier nine. Pretty easy, and the brand new um, EXP allocation is 9,100. So you can see that my glyph is level eight. It's taking 28,100 more XP to go to the next level. Um, this takes it to nine, and then we're gonna go to 10. So I wanna take you over to my little spreadsheet that I have here, just to kind of um, show you the changes that really came to this so this is actually twenty eight thousand one hundred. excuse me um or no no that's what i have left that's what i have left i'm sorry it's thirty two thousand nine hundred to go up i have twenty eight thousand left so let me just kind of break things down if you guys didn't see the tweet put out by adam and the devs it's just kind of breaking everything down i'm going to give you the short list here so they changed tier one, um, all the tiers in the XP, but here are the bullet points here. Tier one's unchanged, tier five goes up to 2,800. 
Tier 10 goes to 11,000. EXP you gain, tier 20 is 65,000 now. And tier 25 gives you 117,000. Now you guys can see that what I'm calling my sweet spots are tier seven and tier nine, because the reason being is that tier, tier 10 gets hard again. So tier 10 is a no-no. We do not want to do tier 10, right? Tier 10 is just a, is just a no-no. We don't want to do tier 10. So getting 9,100, we're doing this in 3.5 minutes, which isn't like too bad for speed running with a level eight glyph. Um, so I just want to kind of give my thoughts and feedback, even after running that one, we've already run a few tonight and I just wanted to kind of break things down. So overall, like I think these changes in a, in a blanket, I think overall the changes are very, very good. Okay. I honestly thought that we were going to get a lot more EXP for this, but I did give a nice little breakdown of the um, glyph total XPs to the next level. And then how many runs it would take in our sweet spot, which is tier seven or nine, particularly in tier nine. So first off the bat, let me say before I break down those numbers is that the removal of the, the suppression and the vampiric powers on the bosses, fantastic, huge dub there. The increased damage reduction across the board on any tier that you do, huge dub. And then of course, making it easier up to tier 10 is actually kind of nice. It allows players to really grind and really kind of experience the Arbiter. So that way we can give feedback. Cause remember, this is all about giving feedback. Now we're gonna get to the bads and, or like the do's and don'ts or the worst parts about this stuff overall later. But now let's break down the numbers. So if I wanted to get my glyph to 25, um, which is, not bad but this is really good the big the big one is 50. we want to get to 50 right 50 is the big tier that we want to get to 50 okay now with 50 being the big dog it's going to take us 345,000 exp just to get it to level 50. okay now now this is 345,000 xp to level 50. okay so that's from 49 to 50 as a context so these are going to be from going from the next run to the actual run to get in here so if we look at 345,000 xp just to go to one right divided by 9100 if we were doing that is going to take us 37.9 official runs to do this okay and that is doing it from tier 49 250 okay so this is just context this is just kind of breaking down everything here so let's look so mine is level eight so thirty-two thousand xp total if you're starting fresh 3.6 runs and then from 9 to 10 it's going to take us 4.1 runs and then from 14 to 15 it's going to take us 7.2 runs 19 to 21 or 19 to 20 it's going to take us 10 runs and then from 24 to 25 is 14 and a half runs and then again from level 49 to level 50 on the glyph because remember level 50 is the one where we expand now right we get the the extra radius inside of the uh paragon board which is really where we're going to get a huge power jump that's going to be 37 and a half or 38 total runs now when i really think about this like if you're clearing pretty fast this is actually not too bad when you think about it okay now it was really out of reach before to get to to even get even think about getting the glyph to level 50 okay even to even think about it and remember again this is only a tier nine so as you continue to level you know a tier 25 is giving you 117,000. i mean that's three runs and you've leveled it once at tier 25. now obviously that's going to take a really long time we want to speed run this and just really get this going however with my glyph only at level eight i can't really speed run anything higher than nines right now so i would say that for anybody who really wants to take a crack at this and just level your glyphs over and over and over again tier nine is the 100 sweet spot you guys just saw me do it it's super easy now when you get in here and you start doing your ones your fives and then you know as you continue to level up seven and then nine are the sweet spots before that is five so if once you're really starting to get up there just go until you can get to nine that is the absolute sweet spot until you really get this glyph leveled up now I'm gonna go back into the game. You can see that 9100 is pretty dang good. Um, it levels it up quick. I guess it is only 28100. So that number is off slightly. So I was right the first time, 28100, which is actually a little bit less. This is actually a little less. It's more. It's still gonna be like three point something, but. So like leveling the glyph probably isn't gonna be too bad now, considering that I I'm able to do this with a really good build 
in three and a half minutes, which is really solid. When you think about this per hour, I mean, you're taking this by 3.5, that's 17 runs, that's 17.14 runs times 9,100. So like in an hour, I'm getting 156,000 EXP per hour, uh, farming this at three and a half minutes, right? So, so three and a half minutes to farm this is pretty good. As long as you have a very good build, you're able to just mine, like get through this really quick and you're, you know, you don't die. Obviously the key is not dying. You don't want to die. Um, so really in an hour, 156,000 XP. I mean, this is, we're going to be able to level this glyph relatively fast. Now, once we start to get up past tier 25 is really when it's going to get tough. But again, this is only at tier nine. I mean, you can go up to tier 10 and start getting 11,000 and then maybe get to tier 15 or something like that. But you would want to do this kind of like greater rift um, in Diablo three and really just like speed farm this as fast as possible, like reduce your chances of dying, etc. So overall, I do think this is a dub. Now, before we get into like the final, final thoughts that I do think that this is a dub. The bad part is, is that a lot of people are still complaining about no rewards and then sigil uh, cost, okay? These are two things that the community is still really, really, um, you know, community hates. They're still really, really hating this and it, it's something that definitely needs to be addressed. However, what I'm gonna like kind of put an asterisk next to this for is because this is just for the season, okay? This is just for the season. I do think that this should be reduced. Yes, reduce. And then as far as rewards, people are calling for Ubers. I'm gonna say no on the Ubers, but there definitely needs to be some kind of reward. Um, some kind of reward. I don't really know what it could be per se, but there needs to be something. I don't think there should be a huge increase in the chances of an uber to drop because remember this is all content so we could still get an uber unless the dev said that we couldn't which i don't remember them saying that maybe you guys can correct me down in the comments but um these are the two biggest causes of concern for the community hate still sigil cost definitely needs to be reduced and then there needs to be some kind of rewards i don't think they should up the times two times three or really go crazy with the percentages but even if you put this at 1% instead of the 2% from Durial, um, however, I think that's too high for doing these when it's so easy to make these. But again, if you are dying, then sigil cost is a real problem. So, but there should be something, maybe increase the Uber, you know, like drop rate, maybe just a little like 0.5% or something, but still overall, I don't think so. But there needs to be some kind of rewards blizzard. So please take a look at that. Maybe guys, they'll introduce something in the full game, you know, or you know, like in season three or something, when they finally introduce their final product of this end game system, maybe that's something that will be in here. Um, but in the meantime, I don't think there needs to be any Uber increase just for the remainder of the season. So with that said, guys, screenshot this. This is really cool. I mean, I think overall it is a dub. I think overall it is a dub. When you're doing the math and you're just seeing how long it's going to take from the previous level, I mean. Again, farming this right now with my build, I can do this, you know, in three and a half minutes and then I can farm that much 156,000 XP per hour, which is probably a little bit less. It's probably gonna be somewhere around 140,000 as you're going through making sigils and joining and all that stuff. But even then 156,000 EXP per hour is pretty insane considering these numbers. I mean, it's 65,000 just from 14 to 15. So you're talking about, you know, an hour to go from 14 to 15, a little bit less, actually it's way less than that. <clears throat> But still, I think I think overall this is a huge dub and I'm really curious to see how long it might take to get your glyph to level 50. So let me know down in the comments, guys, what do you think about all this? Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and as always, stay gaming and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.